Vaigur Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaigur Ji Ki Fateh Hey guys, this is a quick video to show you the new Sticky to the Max update that just came out called Bonnie Controller This is by far the coolest update that has come out yet It allows you to control the entire application from your phone To get started, the first thing you have to do is open up the application And once you're in Sticky to the Max, just make sure you're on the newest version The way you can do that is by going to the top up here and hitting check for update um, but if you just let the program sit for a few minutes, it'll automatically let you know if a new update is available. Once you're up to date, the way you access this new feature is by going to the bottom left over here and choosing the Bonnie controller option down here. And the way this works is you get a code and you get a pin. And all you have to do is go on your phone and visit this website, sttm.co slash control. And once you're here, you'll enter in the sync code. So for me, it's YLM. ASL and the pin number for me is 5453 and you hit connect to desktop and once you're here if you just close out of here and on your phone if you start searching for things so I'm going to search for a Shabbat and then I'm going to click on the first result and you'll see it starts coming up on the computer screen too and I can start navigating between the different lines and different punktis over here and they're just showing up on the desktop over here which is really really amazing and the cool part is it doesn't require you to be on the same wi-fi network so i could have a friend who is somewhere across the world connect to my sticky to the max and control everything and it's a really collaborative effort too you can have multiple people connect so if you're at Gurdwara, you can have your friend connect, you can have your other friend connect, and you could all be searching and helping each other out. So a lot of really cool, powerful stuff. This is a whole game-changing update for Siki to the Max. Another quick tip is if you go back into the same menu you were in before and click the lock screen button, this will show a little message on the screen so no one gets confused that there's no one sitting at the laptop or anything like that. It'll just let people know you're controlling it remotely. Definitely try it out. Let me know what you think. Any questions come up, just let me know. I'll talk to you guys soon.